Wonderful to have you with us here tonight. Are you excited to be part of Fright Fest? Yes, it's brilliant to be here at Fright Fest tonight. It's my first time and it seems to be a festival that's just growing and growing and, uh, and it's, an exciting, it's an exciting experience, yeah. I mean, I think the thing about it is it's such a genre-specific festival, obviously, but like, what comes with that is, is die-hard fans, die-hard movie fans of their own, their own type. I hope they like what we've got to show tonight. Um, Clearly, tonight, a horror film festival. Um, what do you think it is about the horror genre that creates such a devoted and eclectic fan base? That's a very good question. Uh, I, th I think, um, it, obviously, I think with most movies, it's all about escapism, uh, and I think the idea of, of, of a horror can you can really escape because you don't, you know, I hope, hope to God you don't have these real experiences in your day to day day to day life. But I think it's, it's a chance for people to people to escape. Um, I, I, I know for one, for me, you know, some of my, but some of my sort of more preferable horror movies have been things like Sex with Chainsaw Massacre that are based on true stories but they're still slightly warped and slightly you know you, I think the thing about horror movies everything can be a little bit more off the wall a little bit more crazy and a bit more uh, fanatic um, to say. talking about your film The Lonely Place to Die can you maybe start for anyone who hasn't heard about the film yet just a very brief synopsis kind of what it's about the, the basic setup. Uh, it is a, a hard hitting fast paced action thriller movie set in the Highlands where a group of young climbers um go on a mountaineering trip they discover a young girl who's been buried alive um, and they decide they've got to get off the mountain you can't just leave her there uh, whilst they're doing that two guys who have ransomed her have come in to basically pick us off one by one uh, at the same time as her, her family come in from Serbia to rescue her and it ends in a bloody mess in a little town in Scotland Tell us a little bit more about your character and, and kind of what we're going to see from you in this film. I think from my point of view, it's um, it, it's an interesting character to me. It's not something I've necessarily done before. I'm going on a bit of an arc, really. Uh, I go from being a bit of the... He's not necessarily Jack the Lad, but, you know, he's, he's always looking for the joke. He's always looking for the gag. He winds up the whole crew he's with. And he goes he goes from, from being a bit of a... I wouldn't say nasty, but a bit of a pain in the backside to actually being a, a decent bloke and actually his true colours come through which are, you know, he wants to, he wants to help as best as he can. I mean, clearly climbing and, and the kind of the realism of that climbing is a big part of this film. How did you prepare for the film and, and what was the toughest thing for you to film? Uh, I think in terms of preparation, Julian found it very important that I should get climbing and, and I did as well. Uh, I'd never climbed really before at all. In fact, I think the only experience I had was I was about 13 and I was terrified of the idea. But Julian got me confidence in it very quickly, he sent me off down to um, uh, Cheddar Gorge and started climbing all the old Chris Boddington routes and everything else and then took me down to Snowdonia, we climbed up to about 2,000 feet down there and it just threw, it threw me in at the deep end but what it prepared me for was Scotland, you know, I was nervous down in Wales and all the training but it got me to Scotland and it meant when we, once we started shooting it was not a problem, you know, I was not fearful, like just dangling off the side of a rope, you know, hanging upside down on a mountain, um, it was all it was all quite, you know, crucially. I, I mean, in terms of the most scary... I, I, like, to be honest, without sounding crass or giving you a really bad answer, I wasn't particularly scared. But because of the preparation, by the time I got to Scotland, I wasn't particularly scared of what was thrown my way. I knew I was going to have to be dangling by a rope. I knew I was going to have to be running about. I knew I was going to have to be working my, you know, working my tits off. So. No fear, we like to hear that. Yeah, exactly. Well, something like that, yeah. Very final question before we re release you tonight. Um, do you have a message to horror fans watching here and around the world, and why should they be rushing out to watch A Lonely Place to Die? I think my message is um, this is a, a great, um, fast, hard-hitting action movie. I think it's 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 got the traditionalism of what we what we haven't seen in action movies for a while, and I think it's a great opportunity for people to enjoy that. You know, there are some really scary moments kicking about in there, but it's all it's all about the hard-hitting pace. It's it, it's relentless, and I think if you like horror, you'll like it because because of how relentless it is. Can't wait to see it tonight. Thank you so much for chatting to us.